guys welcome back to another recipe of mine so today i am sharing with you guys an easy recipe and this is going to be called queso and salsa y pap con papas which is going to be a cheese um salsa and i'm adding potatoes and it's going to be very easy and delicious so as you can see i have two potatoes and i'm using the queso fresco which is the mexican um skin of cheese and it's really delicious and i'm using one piece of white onion three tomatoes and two jalapenos um so what i'm going to do is first step is going to peel the potatoes chop up all my veggies and keep watching for the whole process so i already peeled our potatoes now we're just gonna chop our tomatoes and i'm just gonna do them in small pieces as much as you can because i do want to do my um salsa a little um liquidy liquid Kind of texture but still have the chunks of your tomatoes onions and jalapenos in there so now i'm going to do our jalapenos and i'm leaving the seeds in there and that's option if you guys want to leave it or take it out so I'm just going to cut them in small pieces. And make sure you wash your hands after you are done chopping up your veggies. Just because you are cutting jalapenos and onion. In the um, onion, I'm just going to them small, as small as you want doesn't have to be perfect because we are just going to smash it all in there mix it up together. okay there you have it guys now i'm going to set this aside and start cutting up my potatoes so we're just going to cut our potatoes as um it depends how you guys want them i don't want them too big nor too small so kind of like cube size So I'm doing mine this size right here. Kind of like french fries, but in a cube size. There you have it. Now I'm just gonna rinse them off really good. And right now I will prepare my um, pan with some oil. Pan it, and I have it kind of like gonna medium high heat and drizzle some oil it's gonna give it enough oil okay while i rinse off my potatoes okay now that it's ready i'm gonna add my potatoes in first because potatoes take a little longer to cook than our veggies okay. so i'll be giving it about eight minutes on here I'm not going to add my salt or pepper yet. I want to add all my ingredients together so it could get the, the uh, flavor. So while that is cooking, I'm just going to open my package here. And I'm just going to drain the liquid out. And we're just going to cut them up in pieces. Okay. So I'm just going to cut them up this big. These came out kind of too long. A very easy, simple uh, recipe that you guys could do for your family, for yourself. Okay, now that I have this ready um, and weighing on the potatoes, eight minutes, I'll be adding my ingredients into the pan. Hey guys, I'm going to show you really quick. I'm just going to drizzle some oil on a different pan. Um, just because I want to kind of have that texture of the sauce, the sauce or the salsa of your veggies, which is a tomato, onion, and jalapeno. So I'm having a medium-high heat, so I'll heat up quick. 
because that's the salsa that we're going to add to our potatoes and cheese. So I'm just going to give it a few minutes. Now that it's hot enough, I'm going to add this in there. So we're just going to let this cook in for about two or three minutes. So about in three minutes, I'll be back to check up on this. Okay guys, now that you can see that the veggies are leaving the juices out, just a little bit, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of water in there. So we do want it kind of like that liquid in there. And I'm just gonna smash this down, just a little bit. That's the texture that we want with our salsa. Now we're just going to turn the heat off and now that our potatoes are done, okay, now I'm going to add our salsa in there. Smells good guys, looking good. Now we're going to add our cheese to this. I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. Now we're just going to add our cheese in. Mix together. And if you feel like you want to add a little bit more water to it just to give it that kind of uh, liquidy, you can. But for me, I'm just going to leave it like it is. So I'm just going to let this simmer in for about a minute or two just because I want our cheese to kind of cook in there with it. And don't forget your salt and pepper. So I'm just going to add a pinch of salt. Two pinches of salt and black pepper mix and I am going to join these with some refried beans guys I'm gonna be uploading a recipe on a, a video on how I do my refried beans so stay tuned for that okay guys so I'm just gonna let this simmer in for a minute and that'll be done this is done this is how it came out now i'm just going to turn my heat off and like i always mention in my videos please don't forget to support and subscribe to my channel and make sure you put your bell notification so you won't miss a video of mine once i upload and give it a like and share and comment down so i'll see you guys on the next one